in order to manifest your own success at your lowest point, you must feed your soul and take care of your body. Because as long as you remain in a lower vibration, it's almost impossible to manifest something good in your life. You really need to raise your vibration, keep your body and your soul in check, like really do good, feel good for yourself before you can actually move into creating the success that you want. It is really hard to create the success you want when you're in a low vibe, when you're miserable, angry, disappointed, you name it, whatever the emotion might be. As long as it's that lower vibration, you cannot create something good out of that low energy. You really have to lift your vibration higher to bring it into that place where the success will just flow easily for you. And it's really not that hard to do. The key is you must get really good at maintaining your own vibrational state of being. Now, of course, your vibration will dip. I mean, it always does. But the more you get used to determining, like noticing where you're vibing at, you can then do things to lift yourself up out of that hole that can get really ugly as you start sinking down lower and lower and lower into vibrations that just keep you in that state of misery and not able to see what you can do next to move towards your success. Before I tell you the things you can do to lift yourself up out of that low place and into a higher vibration, there's something I really want you to consider. So this is really important and I want you to consider now. What is this thing that's going on in your life that's having you feel low and down like you can't create success in your life? I want you to look at that and just ask yourself, you know, like, what, what is it about this that is actually for my highest good? So sometimes what happens is you can't even ask that question because you get caught up in that mental chatter, that subconscious mind that is going to tell you everything based on old stories like you cannot see further when you're in that lower energy all your mind can do is keep you down there like in that low thing reacting and getting triggered by all of this stuff that's old news right but if you can just quiet that for a second and just consider the possibilities that there's something really good about this and it's leading me towards where i'm supposed to be so now don't click off because i really want you like this is the hardest part the other things i'm going to share with you they're easy the hardest part is to actually look at it and see how this situation, whatever's going on, really is helping you. And so because of that reactive mind, it gets in the way. The thing I like to do, the best tip I ever received was just to, just ask, to ask the ask universe the, universe the question. question. Because my mind can't figure it out. It only knows what it knows. It can't see the unlimited possibilities before you. And you know, in this world of energy, there's unlimited possibilities. That's the whole thing about manifesting. We are the creators. We can decide what occurs as long as we don't allow the disappointments to take all the steam out of us, right? So the way I like to do it is... I just ask the universe questions, right? And I don't try to answer them because that triggers the subconscious mind again, right? Ask the question, okay, so what is it about this situation that I'm not seeing that is actually for my highest good? You know, what, is it possible that what's happening right now is really moving me towards a whole different direction that I couldn't see because I was so focused on the misery of not getting to where I wanted to get to here, right? Maybe, possibly, you need to move or just shift it in a little bit. A little, a little, sometimes it's the tiniest little shift that makes the biggest difference. But you really have to practice the next steps I'm going to tell you to keep you in this vibrational place where you can receive the inspiration. Because you got to be in that high vibe in order to have inspiration flow through you. It can't get in when you're just full of all the negativity and uh, energy. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so here we go. The most basic thing you can do to keep your vibration high so that you can see your next moves towards your success in your life is to take care of your body. You need to make sure that you're hydrated, that you're getting enough sleep, and that you're eating good food. Because if any one of those are out, 
your energy starts to dip. And if you don't notice it and take care of it when it starts happening, the others go out. And before you know it, you're just sunken into this deep hole, right? So you want to make sure you pay attention to how you're feeling in your body. And, or even just have like a little checklist of, you know, making sure you're drinking enough water, making sure you're eating good foods, like not so much junky food, right? And really monitoring your sleep. You can do all of those, like making them daily success habits of checking off, like how am I doing with these three things? Because it will really make a huge difference if you can keep all of those things in check. Another pretty simple thing to do in order to keep in your vibration high and moving towards your success is exercise. Now, I know sometimes we don't want to do it, right? But I'm telling you, the body needs to move. You want your body to move so that energy flows through freely so that, guess what? Inspiration can come in. There aren't these blockages, this heavy energy stuck within you that isn't allowing this inspiration to come in. So moving your body, no matter how it is, it could be working out in the gym. It could be walking around your backyard, um, the street, a park, you know, just moving your body. Dancing. I mean, you cannot put on, well, another thing, music, right? Put on some music that real that you like, you know, that really gets you moving. It's going to, if you like the music, your body's going to start moving. So why not do that? And I'm sure probably a lot of you do that, but maybe not realizing what a great effect it has on your energetic vibration to dance or just sitting in your chair, just grooving with whatever this music is, this song that might be. So the important thing here right now is make sure you're moving your body, right? The body needs to move. And what? why not exercise? Why not make, you know, because some people are exercise adverse, right? It, it seems like a big thing to do. But why don't you change the mindset to, wow, if I exercise, and my body's feeling good, then it makes it easier for me to create success in my life and to manifest the things I want. Let that manifesting tip be the motivation to do the exercise so that you're actually moving your body, which it needs in order to maintain its high vibration. And uh, really, it, it'll make you a, a better manifester. I guarantee it. I'm kind of laughing at myself because I said I guarantee it, but I do because I've learned it for myself. And, and let me tell you, there are times when I don't, I just don't feel like exercising. I know it's good for me and I know I should do it, but I don't want to, but I make myself do it anyway because I always feel good after it. I always feel good after it. I have a karate school. We used to teach a lot of kickboxing classes. I never wanted to go and teach the class. I was like, oh, I got to get up and do this. But every time I did it, I was like, I'm so glad that this is my job and I have to do this because I always feel great afterwards. So I've proven it to myself that even when I don't want to do it, if I do it, I'll always be grateful that I did. Maybe that helps you. Okay, so the next tip, and so easy to do, is meditation. Even if you've never meditated before, you can just go onto YouTube and you can search for meditation that helps you with blah, blah, like put in the blank what your problem is that you're trying to overcome at this point, right? Whether it's motivation, whether it's um, being in grief or your heart's hurting because of a breakup or or who knows what, you know, you feel like you failed something. You want to know what it feels like to be success. I'm telling you, you just type in meditation for and whatever is on your mind, you plug it in there. You're going to get tons of meditations, right? So if you've never meditated before, all you got to do is listen. That's it, right? You don't have to be some, you know, advanced meditator who can just sit there for hours and just be in that space. I can do that because I've been doing this kind of work for a long time. But I started out listening to guided meditation. It just takes you, right? You just find yourself a comfortable space where you're not going to be interrupted. You can be sitting up, laying down, doesn't matter, and just listen, and let the story, let the music take you into this peaceful space. And you might find that the inspiration drops in even during the meditation. All of a sudden, this great, this idea, great idea pops, idea pops in, your mind in your mind. Because you stopped focusing on all that's going wrong and you just decided to just be. And you'll find that the more you do that, even if you don't get some sort of inspiration while you're meditating, it will drop in at some point throughout the day, throughout the week. Right? With each of these 
tips that I've been giving you. They set you up to be in that space and be in that higher vibration where you're attracting inspiration. You're no longer repelling it by being in that lower energy because that's what that does. It just keeps all the good stuff out. But when you raise your vibration, I mean, it sounds kind of cliche, but it's true. It's all about vibration. You are an energy artist, right? The world is your canvas. You get to create it. So if you lift yourself up into higher vibrations, doing things to take care of your body and all meditating, moving your body, all of that, it makes it so much easier for you to be able to not only receive inspiration, but then the good parts of that mind of yours start clicking into place, all these little things that it just makes sense that your next step is this. And you're like, oh my God, how did I not see that before, right? So play with these different things. And really, especially that one that I thought was a little bit harder, was just when you're looking at the current situation and how is this serving me? You know, you know how like five years later you look back on it, you're like, that's the best thing that ever happened to me. But at the time it feels like misery. So why don't we bypass that, jump future into the future here, jump through time to that space where we're grateful for what this is that happened, right? Be grateful for it now. Okay, it feels like crap right now, but let's be grateful for this because it's trying to show me where I'm going next, right? There's always a purpose to everything, the good, bad, and the ugly. And the sooner we realize that, and the sooner we realize that we control everything that happens in our life because we are these energy artists. We create the energy through the vibration that we send out into the world. Law of attraction basics, right? <laughs> but it's so true. You can see it in your own life. You can look at the things that are happening in your life and you can kind of start making sense of why they're there because you realize where you were thinking or how you held yourself in some space longer than it needed to be because you just couldn't get your mind off of it or you couldn't forgive that person or whatever the situation might be. There's so many things, right, that can keep you in this lower place. I just want to help you to be able to break free of that, be in this new space of being you, and every time you fall out of it, notice it and then like pat yourself on the shoulder. All right. Hey, Linda, we're doing okay. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take whatever's good out of all of that and I'll move it towards what I'm creating next, right? I'll do better next time. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Just soften the blow. Stop beating yourself up with the mental chatter. I talk about that a lot on tons of videos. And just take care of your body. Lift your vibration. Find your own ways to lift your vibration. You know, think about the things that make you feel good. And when you're at your lowest, go do that. <laughs> You can do it. So anyway, I'll see you another time. Bye.